This is JJ Jumpman23. Hey guys, T Dragon here. This is Young Joel. And I am Pretty Thug 62494. Welcome to episode 6 of the Air Jordan Collection. And today, we're reviewing the Air Jordan 6s. And I'm going to tell you my likes and my dislikes about this shoe. This is a collaborational presentation from Pretty Thug, X Real T Dragon, and any other attractive being that's out there and just wants us to show, spread his life and opinions and likes and dislikes and whatever he thinks about this shoe called the Air Jordan 6s. Hopefully there's a girl reviewer out there. That'd be pretty nice. I personally think so myself. Yeah. <laughs> So one thing I like about the Air Jordan 6 is the cut of it. Uh, I really like the way it comes up to your ankle when you're wearing them, and I like the way they look on feet when you're wearing pants. Uh, you could tuck your jeans in and have the dope tongue pop out. I love the tongue on these. What I like about this shoe has to be the tongue, the rubber tongue. I always, I've always liked the rubber tongue. You know, it's just quick. I, always with shoes, I find great difficulty just putting them on because I hate tying shoes. I usually make one knot and that's it for its entire life. So usually I put it on and then like what I do is I just see I have no socks on. It's kind of funny, huh? Um, I just put it on and then I just pull it up. And it's, it's the easiest thing I've ever done, really. I mean, nothing gets better, including the back tab here. It makes it very essential and quick to put on. One thing I really like about the sixes is the fact that the toe box doesn't really get creased up. I just love the all around look of this shoe. What I like about the Air Jordan 6 really has to be the inside booty because this allows me to pretty much just unlace the shoes and just let them fly freely while my foot is still gripped down very tightly to the actual shoe itself so no loose flopping or anything. And then from there, I just let the shoe do the rest of the work and the shoe just looks great on feet with jeans. One thing I dislike about the Air Jordan 6 is the bottom. Uh, it's a cool design, but I hate icy bottoms because I'm always afraid that they're gonna get yellowed and stuff. Dislike about the shoe. I wear them, and I don't get any better at b ball. Why? Why? If I wear some Air Jordan made from Michael Jordan, I should get better at b ball. I don't understand this. I want to be like Levi Maestro. Put on some Yeezys and make a dunk. These shoes aren't doing it. Tartar sauce. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. But my Air Jordan doesn't fly away. I can't make that dunk. There's not really too many things I don't like about the sixes. The quality of some of the new ones aren't the best. Uh, my second pair of Oreos started to peel apart right here. I don't know if anybody else has had that problem. What I really dislike about the Air Jordan 6s is, is that they have the air bubble as well as so many perforations. And I just feel that the perforations really take away from the shoe. And that if it was just smooth panel leather, the shoe would look a lot better. And I'm going to explain the air bubble crisis before you all hop on me. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's your boy Pink Doug 62494. Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Lessons. The Air Jordan 6 originally released in 1991 in a colorway that followed the same suit. It released in the infrared colorway, not this colorway which is varsity red. For those who don't know, infrared is actually a colorway that's a mix between red and your orange. The black Air Jordan 6 infrared retro for the first time in 2000 then again in the year of 2010, along with a pair of white infrared. Also, they released a pair of black varsity reds and a white varsity red, which pretty much mimics the shoe, but it features varsity red instead of your infrared. I'm pretty good at 62494, aka Sneaker Zane. I hope you all learned something, got a little bit of sneaker knowledge, and I hope you learned your sneaker lesson. 
My favorite colorway of the Air Jordan 6 has to be the 2001 Olympic 6s uh, with that navy blue leather and the white leather. That is just a sick colorway. My favorite colorway for the Air Jordan 6s must be the infrared pack. My favorite colorway of the Air Jordan 6 would have to be the Carmines. This is just a real basic colorway I feel, but the way the colors are put together is just fantastic. My favorite colorway has to be the pair that I own, the white and varsity red. I own one pair of Air Jordan 6s, it's the black and infrared from the pack, Chaz my boy Jong Ho. I really like this shoe, I wear it uh, every so often, it looks really nice on feet and uh, you know it's a great part of my collection. I don't wear them enough. Proof? I've only worn these three times. Yellow icy soles. I also really like the DMP 6s, the black and gold ones and also the 2000 Olympic 6s. Uh, other information, I have five pairs of 6s. I like to wear these a lot. As I said, some of the problem may, it can be yellowing. These I've worn a decent amount of times. Probably about six or seven. Uh, Another other information, if anybody is planning on picking these up, the white varsity reds, uh, they run extremely big. This size 11 fits just about the same size or a little bit bigger than my 11 and a half white varsity red. And I've, I've tried on multiple pairs, so I know that all of them are cut that way. And my friend that usually wears a ten and a half had to get a ten in them. And also on these, they can get that problem that the O4 Olympics uh, and other shoes got where there's like line ridges in the toe. Like I was saying, I really dislike air bubbles. You know, as as a whole, even though I was on episodes three and four of the Air Jordan collection, I never said this, but you know, air bubbles are not really a great feature on a shoe. They're pretty cool, you know, when you first have them, but if you're in looking to hold on to shoes for the long run, pretty much, and keep them as a collector's item, you know, um, they'll they'll eventually just go away, probably in like a seven year lifespan if they haven't been worn. They're pretty much just the air bubble is going to crack. The shoes are just going to cave in. And then this polyurethane midsole, which the threes, fours, um, uh, I don't believe it's in the fives, but the sixes, they all have. And, you know, they eventually just going to start fading away, corroding, crumbling up, and eventually just go poof. So, you know, it's not really a great feature. This is really the shoe that you wouldn't want to collect, in my opinion. It's pretty much you just want to get it wear it and then when it's done it's done threes fours fives two and sixes and many other